It is time now for Better Food. Are you looking for a classic recipe that everyone can enjoy? Our friend and chef Victoria Ward has just the thing. You might recognize her from the Food Network's Cooks vs. Cons. And she is showing us today her recipe for chicken and dumplings. They look delicious. Looks delicious. Ooh. So excited. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for having me. We'd love to have you. All right, so we're going to get right into it because there's yes. several, pro several steps here. Yes, this is my favorite, but it's worth it. So you're going to take that butter and you're going to put it right in here. That's half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter. And this yep. is going to be what we're going to saute some veggies for. Yes. Are we making the insides of the dumplings or what are we making? So you're going to make the broth. The broth. Okay. The broth of the, of the dumplings. And then you're going to take some of this oil and put it right in here. Some of this oil? I yep. Apologize. Yep. Okay. That is just vegetable oil. That's enough. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to... That is a mix of paprika, garlic salt, onion powder, salt and pepper. Right in there. Okay. You want it down a little yep. bit? We can do that because if we take it off, our induction oven will go off. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So should I put the veggies in here? Yeah. You can go right ahead and you can dump all of that. Garlic. That's, that's two tablespoons of chopped garlic. Some onions. We have onions. Yum. And um, carrot. What is this called? The, well, it's the, mirepoix. So mirepoix. That, so that's pretty much five cups of equal parts of mirepoix. Some mushrooms just to give us an all-around umami with our dumplings. And then you're going to saute that up. I was quizzing you. Scott in the commercial break if he remembered that it was a mirepoix. Down. And Chicken face down? Yeah, face down. Like this? Yeah. There you go. Perfect. So you're searing the chicken. We want to get it nice chicken? and... Yeah, all of it. You're going to get that nice and seared, nice and brown, and then eventually you said we're going to put it in the oven? Yep, we're going to flip it once we get a nice brown coat, and then we're going to put it in the oven this way. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have dumplings, I feel gypped off when I get like all dumplings and no chicken. Yeah. Right. So this way, I'm ensured that I'm going to get a nice, juicy piece of chicken. Okay. So in the meanwhile, you're going to take this bacon powder, throw it right in your, your, pow uh, your flour. I don't know why I call it um, powder. Okay. And that is about... Eight cups of flour. Okay. Smells delicious. Thank you. And then you're gonna sift it with your hands. Okay. So that way we make sure that the bacon powder gets all the way through the flour so there's no clumps on one side. Okay. Okay. Maybe. And now that your mirepoix is sweated out, you're gonna add a cup and a half of white wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put some white wine in there. Really yeah. relaxing, Victoria. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. And then, uh, would you like cream too or not yet? No, nope. we're gonna finish it with that. Okay. So, so now you let the wine kind of yeah. heat up, yeah. simmer. Yeah. And I have some salt for you. Okay. Just put a little bit of salt in there. All right. Now you have two cases of chicken stock. Okay. It's 32 ounces each. That's usually how they come. Yeah. In the grocery store, you're gonna add all of it. All of it. Two. And then we're just gonna let it get to a simmer. So now that you have that, you're gonna take your measuring cup with one hand and you're gonna scoop it with the other hand. Scoop, pour it right in? Yeah, and then you're just gonna clump it like, like biscuit batter. So you don't wanna overwork it. Am I doing this right? Yep, this yep you're doing perfect. All right, so now we're getting a nice pear in our chicken. So you're just pouring that in and that's gonna make dumplings. It's gonna yep. just kinda coagulate the flour and you'll yep. have little dumplings. Yeah. And what is this, egg, just eggs? It's just eggs, um, about two cups of water. Whisk it all together. Bacon powder and flour. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now should I just keep going with this? Yeah. Keep going. Can you work it? So your chicken looks so beautiful. I think a lot of us struggle with making chicken look like the way a chef makes it at home. <laughs> Why is there, what did you season it? Why is it so beautiful and brown so quickly? So usually with Cajun food, we put paprika, we put some type of red seasoning to okay. give us a more golden brown on our chicken. Gotcha, paprika. Yeah, paprika's in this. Garlic salt and onion powder. Paprika, garlic salt, and onion powder. That's kind of what you pat your chicken with. Yeah. All I'm right. Doing this right. Yeah, so now you're gonna put it on the, on the cutting board there. I'm gonna throw this in the oven for you guys. All okay. right. And how, when you're going to bake that, um, just regular 350? Victoria, you um, put it on just a regular 350 or I'm hotter? I'm impatient. I usually do it at 400, 400. for like okay. 20 minutes. <laughs> and, and how long about the chicken? Um, about 20 minutes. Okay. About 20, 30 minutes. Did yours have bones in it? Yes. Okay. You yep. want me to roll this out? Yep. You can probably take off the gloves now if that helps okay. you. Okay. But there's a lot stuck on my gloves. Yeah, you just, just don't even, yeah. That's okay. what I usually do. All right. You want some? You so that's some. a helpful hint. You want to have some gloves at home if you're going to make dumpling, yeah. dumplings. Yeah, I'm used to it, um, but and then I just kind of like do this like rubbing technique, and it'll clump off. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, and then roll it out. <laughs> yep. 
get some some flour here so that way it doesn't stick to your pan. I'm totally screwing this up. No, you're doing a great job. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's dumplings. At this point, if you wanted to just rip it up and clump, it wouldn't matter. They're just it, gonna be good. Yeah. See, look, this is this is how my great grandma did them anyway. You oh. just drop them in. in. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing this up to a little boil, and then you want it to simmer, right? Yes. Okay. And that's how do you know? It. Do the dumplings yeah. float? How do you know they're done? They float, and then they sink again. You're just putting clumps. You're not even really shaping them. Nope. Like this? Really? Is yeah. this good? Is that too big too of a big? clump? <laughs> yeah. You don't want them too big okay. and um, too thick because then they won't cook all the way through for like a while. Okay, we have about 30 seconds. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. And then you're gonna add your cream. Okay, should I add it now? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Even raw, I know I shouldn't be eating it because it's got eggs in it and it's not cooked, but I'm eating it. <laughs> Um, so then the cream kind of incorporates with the flour and it makes this beautiful gravy and that's your finished product over there. And yeah. it just cooks up, the dumplings cook up. Yeah. So everything in this pot ends up being the base for your dumpling. Yeah. It's going to thicken up and you just put that on a plate, put the roasted chicken on top and that's your chicken and dumplings. Yeah, that's pretty well, much get it. Get a little forky there, buddy. Get a little forky. <laughs> Don't be shy. There you go. And honestly, you guys, the longer you let the dumplings sit, the better they are. And you're going to notice in the middle, See how it tastes like a biscuit? Mm. That's because we added baking powder and eggs. Oh my God, Victoria, that is awesome. This is a really good, you know, just a hearty winter family meal. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. And very cheap, you guys. This was like $30. Wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, for delicious recipes and meal inspiration, be sure to check out Victoria's Instagram page using the handle Hawthorne Chic. Oh, Victoria, so good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm. Thank yum, you yum.